And Club Termasi guys, we are finally back again for another reaction on the one and only Mr. Licks reaction channel guys. Big up! The Mr. Licks YouTube family for definitely tuning into another reaction video. And of course, the newcomers are there. The newcomers are there. Big up on yourself as well for dropping by and saying, hey, what's up Mr. Licks? Big up all the Mr. Licks YouTube family I met yesterday. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And thanks of course for the newcomers are there who are definitely about to tune into this year. Uh, well, the vlogs. They're going to see the vlogs. So you can definitely go and subscribe to the vlogs as well. There'll be a, dro a vlog dropping soon, guys. So definitely tune out, tune in for that. So subscribe to Mr. Lick's vlogs with that city right there. Anyways, guys, give this video a thumbs up if you understand it, or if you will, well, if you understand it, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe and turn on that post notification by clicking subscribe, click the bell, and then click all. So you'll be pretty much notified when I drop my videos right there and then. Now, guys, apparently today a number of folks. This is something that has apparently been happening in Antigua. Where a number of uh, people from Africa are tending to come to Antigua. And of course, that is as a result of the new link between Africa and um, uh, Antigua. And of course, uh, this is an interview being done by a particular woman. And there's a number of persons saying different things here and there. There's another video. If you guys want me to do this, make this video reach 300 thumbs up. If you want me to react to the video where they're talking about the traffic and all kind of things taking place between them. But we're going to actually listen to an interview of an African and, of course, an Antigon giving that interview right there. Um, I think I'll post the video of the plane entering in. another plane, but the people, the Africans coming in. But anyways, guys, let's take a listen to these vibrations right there. Antigans and Barbudans are rightly concerned about hundreds of Africans hmm. brought here by charter flights on Antigua Air Airways. With many of them not being able to afford accommodation hmm. or basic subsistence. So you tell me that they're coming into Antigua but they cannot afford accommodation. So it seems like they're escaping from something or something is happening over there from my point of view guys. This is the first time I'm hearing this uh, video. So let us continue right there. Well, this is some audio. Yesterday, I had the opportunity Yesterday. to sit and chat okay. with one of them, Divine. Now, this is not his real name. It is a heart-wrenching interview that mm. speaks to the civil war in the Cameroon. I so apparently there's something going on. There's definitely something going on while you're looking to escape, so to speak. Humanitarian crisis. <laughs> Refugees fleeing West Africa, particularly mm. the Cameroon and human trafficking we're going to head straight into that interview with divine an african brought here on a antigua airways three weeks ago Ooh. over the oh so it's not yeah well i did see a video of them arriving today uh well that's what it was stated when i got the video so anyways let's continue they said previously there are more people well like this person is saying more people uh, seems like a lot of people are coming from anti um africa into the caribbean as a result of the direct flights sometimes they cannot end up coming to the caribbean because they have to go for europe when they go for europe you need visa or whatever you need to do they to go and then probably america or wherever to then transition to the caribbean but since it's direct and i think this is okay to me it's okay we can fly back and forth past two months uh, from november 1st we have seen an extraordinarily large mm. number of africans from nigeria the cameroon and other parts of west africa coming to antigua and barbuda another thing is a number of persons well a number of articles are, are indicating that they're coming to antigua to then go to mexico to end up into the united states i don't know if that is the case if that is the case then but I think I still believe in the connection between Africa and the Caribbean. That should have been done a long time ago. I just think it needs to be rectified on the situation that is taking place. Antigans and Barbudans have been in the dark about the sudden influx of mm. our African brothers and sisters here. Today, we are going to speak with Divine, and he is from the Cameroon. Welcome to Observer, Divine. Thank you. Now, first of all, tell us a little about where you are from, your Cameroon. upbringing, you know, just a little background. Thank you. Um, I'm from the English part of Cameroon. The English part of Cameroon, in Cameroon we have war. Hmm. There's war in Cameroon, so the French people, they dominated the English. So we, 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 we are in trouble, so we try to Escape. leave the country. 
So we have to meet some agent because we want to travel to the United States of America. So ah, so they're using Antigua as the middle spot. So I guess the article was right. They told us to give some money, and when we give them some money, about let me say four four million in Cameroon money. Franks. Franks, CFA. And, and that's that's equivalent to how much US? That that should be equivalent to six thousand dollars, even above US. Mm -hmm. So then up you can hear the voice. She was like, What? Six thousand dollars, US dollars. I guess to maybe come all the way across because I think some time back uh, some people would tell me it was about seven thousand dollars to go to the UK. I was like, What? Who paying all that? Anyways, or, or to go to China, it's about anyways, let's continue. So when we pay the money, they took us to Nigeria. From Nigeria, they, they fly us to Antigua, but we were supposed to live in Antigua just for two days. So that is actually human trafficking right here. Isn't that human trafficking? I mean, on the base, well, then again. It is, but they are the ones who want to be trafficked out to Antigua. They're supposed to stay Antigua for two days and then they transition to Mexico. This, that's crazy. And they carry out to Suriname where we will find our way out. So you see, so from Antigua to Suriname and then they'll find their way all the way up to Mexico and they'll pass the border and go in. So up to then, we are in Antigua now for more than three weeks. Mm -hmm. We had in Antigua for more than three weeks, and up to now, we don't even know if we will leave Antigua. Well, uh, are you wrong there? Are you wrong there, Father? Because I check in, or you come to Antigua to when we come to the Caribbean and go to the beach and relax a little? No, the plan is to enter into the United States. Now, that might be very bad for Antigua because if that is the case, and there are a lot of people transitioning into Antigua to go Suriname, Suriname, South America. And then they come in into Central America. So now I'm in South America or Central America. We have wherever it is. Central America. Come up to go to um, um Mexico, Mexico to enter into the border. I think that is and they're not just doing this, you know, guys. They're trained to say certain things that they are trained um when they reach the border, they are trained to say certain things. So this part I would not agree with all you doing these things. That is not right at all. No, no, let's can, can I just go back a little divine just to get an idea of what the situation is in the Cameroon. Hmm. There's a war between the French and the English. Just give us a picture because Antiguans and um, I might want to know exactly what the situation is like. What is it that you are fleeing from? Hmm. You know, from Cameroon, uh, the, the French people has 80% of the population. The English has just 20%. The French people, they don't dominated the the english which french people are you talking about the french black people or are you talking about france themselves that are there that's what i want to know and they want that everybody from the english part should speak french mm -hmm. and they want to abolish our own tradition in english they want that everybody should be in french now even in our court they would like to send by the majesty in french mm -hmm. In Cameroon, the uh, the English people use what we normally call the common law, but the French people has their own law. But they are trying to apply the laws on us. So even in classes, they would like to teach in French. So many people in the anglophone Zoom, they don't like it. So it will make people who strike. When they strike, they will send their soldiers to come and just kill. Mm -hmm. So, so, but I find this is a stupid war. It's a stupid war because they, well, then again, they probably tried to take over the rest of the, 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 the um, colonized English. You have the colonized French trying to take over the colonized English. They killed, they have killed more than, as I'm talking now, they have killed more than, more than 20,000 of the youth in Anglophone. That's why we don't even want to stay there. As we are here now, we are more confused. Because we want to leave the country. No. So you want to leave Antigua? They, they, um, as of now, they want to leave the country. That means they want to go to to Antigua. Um, um to 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 the United States. You have a family in the Cameroon. Uh, tell us about your family. Yeah, I I know I have wife with kid. I have about three kids. I have three kids. So three kids. they left behind. Hmm. You know, it's more dangerous for men than women. 
Yeah, yeah they just want to kill all the youth so that the remaining population they will accept to them. So in anglophone zone, most, all the youth are in their lives are in danger. So that's why you see the, all the youth they want to go, they want to fling out. So that's why there's so uh, many more men than women and coming on these flights. That's ah. the, that's the truth. Mm -hmm. They want to go out so that. Even our mothers now, they even burn their houses. They burn the houses of the the English people. Most people are sleeping in the in the, in the book. All that necessary, huh? All that necessary. Just let people live in peace. All that necessary. Push. <sighs> they are sleeping in the forest. And the funny thing is, the colonized, you know, they're doing that. They're trying to push you French because they speak speaking speak French. You are being colonized. You, they take you out from your language. They make you speak French. You're trying to get the English people who were colonized by the English, who they taught English, or you then fighting with each other for you to then push the colonizers' language on the others. Boy, boy, oh yeah. boy, tell you, boy, I tell you. People are just suffering. There's a lot of suffering in the English part of Cameroon. How did you learn about uh, these flights coming to Antigua, oh. Divine? You know, like some of us who wanted the wanted the the visa, but to Brazil, but along they said that we cannot fling to Brazil. So the agent Brazil. that the that that we give our money to, they just call us to Nigeria. That is a available flight here. That we, when we reach to Antigua, we will take we will fly to Suriname. From Suriname now, we will be going. That's how we find ourselves here. To the so on the basis of that whole thing right there, it seems like there, there, there's, a, there's, a, 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 it's not necessarily the plane flying to Antigua that's the problem. It's the associations within there that realize, hey, we can actually use that plane that is coming from Nigeria to go to Antigua. So when people are trying to say the plane is the one that's doing the trafficking, I wouldn't say that directly. I would say there are organizations using that new opportunity to then push this forward. Let's continue. The United States. Yeah. From Suriname to the United we'll, States. We'll go, we'll go through, through we'll pass from Suriname, Brazil, and by the, I think that... So Brazil is where they pick up the... I remember there was something they were showing on the news that they, they, the people, when they're going through Mexico, they, has a vi they have a visa, a 30-day visa or something. So when they pass through... They just throw away the vi the visa. They throw away the visa and they end up into the country. They en enter into the country legally, but they overstay their, their welcome and they throw away the visa and then they 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 appear to be um, um people who are looking for 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 asylum. You know they are claiming asylum. They after they throw away the visa, so you have no idea who these people are. That one will be by vehicle to Mexico. After Mexico, we we'll know we we'll arrive where we want to go to. Now, prior to that agent speaking to you and persons in your community about Antigua, had you ever heard of Antigua and Barbuda before? No, no. no. It's <laughs> only that day that we're coming that we know that there's a country like Antigua, and then we we'll have to search on map. We we'll see a very small country like that inside the middle of the water. So it was <laughs> that's how fine inside the middle of the water. <laughs> Ourselves. What is it that you were actually promised by this agent, and how did you uh, accumulate the this six thousand US dollars to question. come here? No, our agent told us we would, when we come here, we we'll make just two days. We we'll go to Suriname. That is what they told us, and by now we are still here to have by money, boat. just family support. We will go left and right, even back to for support. Even as we are here now, we we'll call family back home to send us money. If you go to MoneyGram, Western Union now, you will see lines there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We just need money that we can even get out of. That is something yeah. else. So the, the the money back, the the family back home is sending whatever little money they make to see if they can ensure that the family members who have gone out can make it in the United States, make do things and whatnot. So then in turn. They can then bring their family in with them via the the, the normal way. Because if you obtain citizenship, um, for how many? Years? That is something. Else. That is a journey, we boy. If you obtain citizenship, you have to probably spend five, ten years in America before you are able to bring your family members up. But is it worth it? That is a question. Is it worth it with all these wars that is going on? 
black people fight against black people. I don't know if the French fight. I don't think it's the French. Ah, that is that is something else, boy. Ah, boy. Was it difficult for you to accumulate that money? I mean, what kind of work do you do 6, in the Cameroon? Million. What what what? That is four four million Cameroon dollars. What kind of career do you have? No, we are just I'm just a. a let me say, I do furniture. You're a carpenter. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I do. And how much do you earn as a carpenter in Cameroon? No, in Cameroon, you can earn your own shop. Mm, okay. Yeah, you earn your own shop, and then you can make something and keep for sale. Mm -hmm. So the shop is still there. Yes, so just leave it like that to run for their life. <laughs> mm. So, uh, so he has a business in Cameroon. They, it makes money. So I'm guessing they will send more money for him through the shop um, to the United States. If that, if, since that's where he's going. Oh, so, um, your intention when you left the Cameroon was to get to Antigua spend two days and then go on to Suriname yes Just let me clarify that. yes that's America. what the agent told us and then from there we'll, we'll find our way out the, this neighboring country we just pass through mm -hmm. going up to the United States it's interesting because right now that's what is happening millions of people are passing through the Mexican border I don't know Dominicans all you want to go for all you want to go to America <laughs> go America pass through the Mexican border and go up but that is a heck of a trailer that is a heck of a trail to go because many people don't make it many people don't make it and those who make it <laughs> sometimes they even get sent back especially if they know they are Haitians because I know a number of Haitians made that journey and they send them back to Haiti eh? boy you mad <laughs> did you meet any Antiguans in the Cameroon before you you left uh, the Cameroon? No, I've, in Cameroon I've never heard of Antigua. I only know about Antigua when we were in Nigeria. Mm. So the agent that you spoke to in the Cameroon was a Cameroonian. Yes, uh -huh. uh, she was a lady. She took us. She asked us to meet her in Nigeria. When we met her in Nigeria, they have to meet the flight for us okay now tell us about your experience here you expected that you would have spent two days only you're here now three weeks going into the fourth week uh, what has been your experience here in antigua hmm. no what i know antigua people are good people the only problem we face here is the life here is difficult for us yeah because here things are expensive more than the way we compare to our to our own country so things are diff things are expensive so so when they complain about things expensive that means the life here is difficult in Antigua. <laughs> that means the life was a bit better in, in cameroon it's just that there are wars just like haiti a number of persons crying try to cry on haiti and everything like that if you guys look at haiti's gdp it's pretty high it's just that most of it is going back well, most of me, it is being pimped by the West. That's what is happening, and they are creating wars. And many people are trying to liberate themselves. They are more. They sending more reinforcements from the West to come and oppress the people. Well, let me not say much because they tell me not to. Oh, it makes us when we are spending, we we'll cry. And the small money that we brought out, we thought that could have carried us far. Only paying hotels, bills. The money that we pay hotels here. Yeah. If you want to pay hotels in our country, you will divide it about ten, ten of that money. So hmm. when we pay like that, it make us. I think maybe here you. I have to go Africa, you know, guys. I have to go Africa. I was given the opportunity to go Africa in 2017. Um, but unfortunately, Maria, um, um, Maria happened, you know, devastation and everything like that. So I had to scrub my own. But I, I will, I will be going. I want to go to Africa sometime. Man. Up on Antigua and go across, man. You can walk more than uh, $100 for a day. But in, in Cameroon money, if you want to uh, calculate it, I think you should walk more, only about $5. So if you have to be spending, if you can pay hotel for $50, $100, that money is coming from Cameroon. It will not be easy for you. Yeah. yeah. So it's very difficult for you. So that means you have to figure out how to work in Antigua. You didn't plan to stay there, but you have to figure out how to work. Maybe you can do your furniture stuff in Antigua as well to make some money. It's quite sad what is happening in the country, but I, mean, I would understand why Antigans, you know, are a bit confused as to what is happening. And then again, communication is key. What is, what is Gaston doing to communicate to the people and tell the people what's up? But then again, Gaston probably doesn't. Well, I wouldn't say he doesn't know because I saw another video of money circulating. 
monies that came from 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 the, uh, the American the um, airlines. So, anyways, let's continue. Hopefully, I get that video. I'll post it up for you guys as well. Yeah. How have you been subsisting, eating, and uh, getting your accommodation for the last three weeks? Money from overseas. Money from Cameroon. His family said. I'm sure he's gonna see this. We, we, we buy food. Mm -hmm. We just buy food around. Yeah. We even met some of the anti gar people that they say they love the black. They will help. At times we met oh, some yeah. of them in the in the restaurant. They will buy you food. Mm -hmm. They will just buy you food. Are you from Africa? I say yes. Say no, you just eat. I would pay. Yeah, some okay. of them help us. They help okay. us. Well, that's good. That's good. At least some of the anti gun folks are helping them out. Because I guess some of them understand the struggle. That's a lot of things. That's one of the things that I know, especially on this side in the Caribbean. A lot of people don't know exactly what is going on. Because I remember when the Haitians came in and people were like, what are the Haitians doing? Blah, 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 blah. And I, I, I understood the sentiment in that regard because the Haitians came in and were trying to take the little jobs that Dominicans, you know. You know? So I understood that sentiment. But why exactly did they run? And I first learned about that situation when I met a girl in Rosu. She's working in... um one of them shawarma sports and she's from haiti a nice cute girl and we were talking to her and vibes in front and everything like that she says uh, she, people say the mean things to her and so forth and so forth but the reason she's not like she wants to be here but there's wars going on in haiti and she she cannot stay there she has to try to do something and when she makes a little money send back some to her family members and all those kind of things and so it's kind of a man it's a whole man i tell you and it's funny that, no, not funny, it's sad that it's, it's happening in the black communities. Black communities, but then again, who is the instigator to these things? That is the question right there. Or are we the ones to fully blame ourselves for these, for these things? I know in Haiti what is going on. I know exactly what is going on in Haiti. This is why some of them have to revert to the, 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 the energy realm. Have you ever heard of an... Uh, Not that I'm saying that is a good thing. Because sometimes the energy realm wants something in return. So people want to dabble and say, oh, that is all thing. No, no. Well, anyways, let me leave that. That is another topic. Um, an Antigua and Barbuda Nigerian Chamber of Commerce. Is that the organization that is is assisting you while you're here? No. Never heard of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Antiguans and Barbudans, are you, as you know, are going to the polls in general election on mm. Wednesday, 18th of January. Will you guys be a part of it? And there's been a lot of talk, a lot of speculation about the reason why you are here, that you will somehow get involved in our elections. Can you speak to this? Many people have been asking us this question. Everywhere we pass, they will ask. People come here to vote, we say, we have not even voted in our country, how can <laughs> we vote here? Because in our country, you want, if you want to vote, you have voter cards. Yeah, they vote with card. You, you have to have some card, go and register it before you vote. You cannot just vote like that. So, we did not come here to vote. We cannot vote, we don't even know the parties, we don't know the people. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're just passing. passing Unfortunately, the, the issue met us. Not that we come here to vote. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you did not come here with any ID cards. No ID cards were given to you before coming to Antigua. We came with our passport. Yeah, that's so why I check in. Mm -hmm. all, all else could they travel? Then if they didn't come with ID cards and they ended up on the plane and the plane brought them in, then we'll have to blame the plane to be a part of, or the airway, the Antigua airway, to be a part of this very thing right there. But it's not their fault. The people, the agents, or whoever, are just using Antigua airways to bring people across. Uh, the legal way you have to have your passports and everything like that is unfortunate but let's continue yeah and you have not been approached by anybody to participate in any part of the election no for me nobody i've been in my hotel i don't i don't even like to walk around yeah, because i'm always i'm just thinking how to leave the place <laughs> he's on his mission to go that is what they're thinking of the mission to go i mean i've not i've not seen that mm -hmm. And uh, your aim really is to get to America. That's my my point. Okay. Have you spoken to any of the agents about your onward travel? The one back home? Or, or the one here? Uh, the one here, they have collected us money to send us to this place, but now we have not seen, we have not yet any good news from them. They so they take all your money? Can I ask you of Dominica when Dominica was charging each Haitian 400 US dollars 
to enter into the country and they have to stay about three or four days and if they they don't leave by that time then you know they they, they lose that four hundred dollars and of course haitians will come in and they weren't planning to to leave dominica again majority i would say wouldn't planning to leave dominica through the airport they were planning to leave some other way that's why a number of boats and things were capsizing in the sea and they go in guada and all kind of places trying to figure out a way how to leave the little islands they didn't come to say hello to the islands or come to antigua beach it didn't seem so at all or dominica beach you see me they come to pass through for them to go to mexico and then continue on that border because you know that's one of the ways that people are entering in into the united states will say tomorrow we are going the next day they will say they have cancelled that's how we are being here i've paid the money since i've paid about two two thousand dollars but my partner you know you're selling out all you seen you're selling out all you seen there we? because you 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 it <laughs> is to go to Surina, but we are still here so let me get this straight you saying that you paid an additional two thousand dollars yeah to the six thousand that you you paid yeah yeah can you can you explain who? Uh, who? who would have collected yes. this money from you it's not i don't think you don't have to give any names is it the government no no names is it that this person is collecting from all of you two thousand dollars to get you to Suriname? Yes, they said that they have to pay our flight, their hotels, book flight, all those things. This is the amount they needed. They first of all collect us uh, uh, one thousand eight fifty. Later they came and collect three hundred and six dollars. Hmm. Yeah, that's the money they have collected. But uh, today the things are not going the way we thought. Tell us, tell us exactly how you feel, Divine. Who, who is collecting that money? Who? And is Dominica government involved in it? You know, let me. All right. And tell the people of Antigua and Barbuda how you feel today. I feel bad because this was not my destination. <laughs> this is not where I wanted to be. And from here, I don't know. I don't know how to do so that I can go out of here. We are frustrated. Most of us, most of us here are frustrated. Mm -hmm. It's just a sad situation when you listen to the stories, guys. And these individuals are in a predicament that they're in. And then you have other people, like in the Caribbean, who don't understand the struggle and think, hey, these people are low lives and all this kind of thing. Some, some of them richer than you, you know. In their country, they're richer than you, you know. But they're skipping the wars and this kind of things there. And you think these people are doing, uh, you know, are low lives and, and, and worthless, but they're watching us as the low lives and worthless when they come and see the kind of magi. <laughs> the kind of magi that happen in the place and they check in. This is where I come in, no gas, let me try and bust my way out. Hop a ship or fishing boat or something. Hop I'm, I'm with them ferry boat and go, go overseas, man. That's what they do. They have nothing else to lose, you know. What are they going to do? Some of them, those go, some of them, when they catch them, they go in jail. And then they send them home and what? And they're doing the whole process again because they're checking they want to have better men for themselves and as they should. Have have all of your colleagues, all of the, the other Cameroonians that you know of, have they been vaccinated? Because that is another concern that uh, many persons have. Now, most of us, I think we had our cut. We we'll take all the vaccine. They told us right in Cameroon that you cannot go out without those things. So we done that. Everything is there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So do you that? So it? divine. Do so that's the only reason why they took it. They didn't take it because you know it's of some health benefit. No, <laughs> it seems like they took it just for them. <laughs> they tell me, well, if you enter in the United States, that's what they tell you you need to do. Well, for some people, you plan to leave Antigua anytime soon. That's What's the plan? That's my know. prayer. If I see any means of living until once, <laughs> even now, I will just be going. Yeah. He gone. And uh, you've paid your dues. You've paid the, the $2,000 for More your onward that. trip. Yeah. So you are hoping that this flight will take you on to Suriname very shortly. Uh, we are just hoping because there is, for what we are going through, there is no hope. Hmm. There's no hope. We are just hoping that maybe God can intervene for us to to go out because even from here to if you even think of going back they say there's no flight it's not easy to go back do you want to go back to the camera but, oh probably if they go back nigeria then have to go back to Cameroon. okay 
room. No, that one, that that one will be the, the worst thing to do. Hmm. Why? Because of the war, the war that is in the country. If some of us drop in Cameroon today, we're going to jail. Mm -hmm. We're going to jail. Uh, you cannot even land in that airport in back. Cameroon. You cannot. When once you just land, what's your name? They will just That's look. It. Maybe yeah. take your passport. You on the English side. You are going to jail. And the jail in Cameroon is not a tough jail. Maybe you probably have here that mm. they will give you food now. Mm. Jail in Cameroon is hell. Mm -mm. And would you say that this is also? So they risking it all we? Ha! Yeah, yeah. Guys, my finger about two things. Let me let me clear it. Okay, guys, we are back again. Let's continue the concern of all of your other brothers and brothers who have come to antigua yes your, your view that you're not going back to Cameroon. everybody that is here is not willing to go back nobody is hmm. willing to go back because jill will pick them up why why go back why go back hey it's do or die that is the thing do or die either they stay here than going back yeah nobody's willing to go back hmm. so would you say that you are a refugee then Obviously. There's war in his country. He can claim this. Yeah, he can claim that. Eh? He can claim that. <laughs> Automatically, we are refugees. It sounds to me like this is a humanitarian crisis. It is. Yeah. It sounds like that too. What What is going to happen to your three children and your wife? Hmm. When he acts like that, it's like I should share tears. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very painful. Somebody has to do it here. Eh? Somebody has to do it. I know. Did you eventually want them to be reunited with you in America? Yeah, obviously. That was my intention. So where do you go from here, Divine? From here now, I will, I will go to my hotel, to where I live. Be waiting for the answer from the agent. Who's that agent, boy? Who's that agent? Thank you, sir. So it's a risk again, you know, guys. It's a risk because you don't know who to trust the agency. Okay, we can make connections, blah, blah, blah. And what if the agent is the one bubbling, you know? That is a hell of a thing, eh? Oh, so much for talking with us. Do you have any final words, anything that you want to say that we did not say in this interview? What would you like to say to the people of Antigua and Barbuda? The only thing I would like to them to know that we, the Cameroonians that we came here, we did not come for vote. Yeah, we did not come for vote. We were passing. We just want to pass here. Which means that was the only route we can take. Yeah, that's why we pass here. We do yeah, not... like I mentioned earlier on, you know, they cannot pass up because they might need visa or whatever for them to go there. So I come here to vote, and my brothers and sisters that they are here, they are going through a lot mm -hmm. because we don't have even job. You don't have anything to do that. You can even have the money mm -hmm. to work. If I tell you that this money is one antigua friend that would dash me money to go and eat mm -hmm. yeah, i was not even expecting that yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so i know anti gala people are good people thank you 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 most of the the your brothers and sisters who've come most of them are men what percentage of them are women let me say some 70 should be men 70 percent of them should be men mm -hmm. yeah okay and, and all are youth most of them are youth let me say from they smart because they, that's when they enter. That's one of the things that they tend to do in, in the United. Some of them not youth, you know, but some of them pretending to be youth so that they can end up claiming asylum and they assign them to families and this kind of things in the United States. That's one of the things that they teach them when they go um, when they're leaving to to try to claim asylum in the United States. Forty down. If you say somebody more than forty, they should not. They would not be off to thirty percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that requirement was made eh, that you must be below 40 no, from no. the agent? No, no. Young, younger than that. Some of them 20, some of them 40, you know, and they, they claim in the, the 60. <laughs> I saw I saw that. I saw that. That was something else. The, the, the population. So he was like, what, 30, 32, 33, whatever. Yeah, and he was claiming he was 16. 
because you cannot go or 17 because if you're 18 then you can go and die family and then when they go to look for the boy now the boy disappear you know the boy gone the family member the family don't know where the boy is the boy gone <laughs> as soon as he enter the country <laughs> assign him to a family and the boy gone the next day the, the, the one that they are going is the most people that the the government does not like to see the younger ones the younger one because they they believe that they can easily pick a gun to fight them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because now mm -hmm. most of our youth they have also formed their own Gangs. gang to fight the government. Ah, so I like what is happening in Haiti. So it's the youth that fighting government. So we, the youth, our lives are in danger. Sometimes when they even just met you, they see you, they just kill and go. Not no, nobody will question them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Has any government official reached out to you and your colleagues on humanitarian grounds? Hmm. I don't understand. That is, that is a good question, eh? Because if you have to escape there and no humanitarian efforts is being made to help you, something happening over there, something really happened. Well, then again, the system is corrupt since the French are trying to take over the English. That, that self is a mad thing because it's colonial language. Colonial has have have you talked to any government official at all about getting you onto a flight towards uh suriname to your final destination and about your situation i don't think they can do that though because if they know the idea is for them to enter the united states and that means the government then will have be uh, assisting them to, to 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 do this you know and that is a whole other thing right there situation in the cameroon has anybody said anything to you no we did not even want them to know where we are. If See? the government of Cameroon no That's why I check in he is he's selling out himself. Today that we are here. I believe they'll just send the jet plane to come and carry us back. Mm. Yeah. We'll know that. What about <laughs> Antiguan government officials? Uh, so I don't don't you think that they'll be sending people over there now to come and collect all you? Where is your peoples? Where is your this? Where is your that? And thing. But maybe they, 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 they have a contingency plan for all those kind of things there because they just train them before they leave. They just have to go for a course, you know. They're going for a course, how to act and all those kind of things there. <laughs> I tell you. Uh, I've not gone across one, so I don't know. The only question people will ask us, do you people come here to vote? No, that's the only question. And we are, most of us, we are always indoor. We don't know the places, we don't know where to go. Divine, it has been... A pleasure and yes, I'm talking to so, you. So that self is a kind of a struggle right there. I had to go through this whole thing. I, I, I was gonna do another video today, but I was like, yo, I'm gonna go through this whole thing. I don't know where else it is it is. You can clearly see this was forwarded to me many times the interview with the observer and what have you, brothers and sisters. I don't know where it is, so I had to play the whole thing for you guys definitely to hear right there. It's a sad situation that is going on. What are your thoughts, guys? What are your thoughts? Do you think this is necessary? If you were in the situation that he was in, what would you have done? Would you stay there? in cameroon or would you try your best to see if you can fly out and go to another place and another thing i, I need to tell individuals that because i know africa have internet it's not america alone all you, all you can go you know what all you can do some of all you can apply for schools in canada you can apply for schools in canada i don't know if there's restrictions in africa or whatever but you can apply for schools in canada you can apply for schools in in other places around the world where it's a bit less, you know, America is not the only free place, so to speak. And right now, America is not even free, you know. They have the idea of freeness, but then that itself is a whole other thing. Because if you talk about certain things, this is why YouTube restricting a number of us for saying certain things. We have to make up new words. We have to say different things. We, for me, I have to say Rona, uh, injection, or this kind of thing. Say, oh, yes, if I say that, they will take it and flag the video. That's what they used to do. They, they, they're limiting people. So when you talk about freeness, you have to be free or freedom you have to be you know keep a third eye on that one right there anyways guys before i started right there let me know your thoughts give this video a thumbs up for this guy right there for speaking the thing he, he probably sell out the, the whole thing <laughs> he probably sell out the whole thing i think they should should have stayed quiet on this thing uh, on my thought if you're trying to get help for your family i mean if i put myself in that situation i would probably do the same thing he's trying to do see how i can arrange and organize for me to go somewhere else so i can organize my family i wouldn't go um, um united states i think united states is one of the most difficult places um to enter but right now biden has made it easy for immigrants this is why they're saying that biden is the immigrant president because he brings a number of Im immigrants i think about seven million since he has been here seven million immigrants came in that is two years and america normally lets about a million people to come in 
every year. They take the brightest of the brightest and the, the people to bring in those who have, have signed in and, and on, on the lottery thing and, and other measures as well. So, guys, let me know your thoughts, man. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see. If you want to see more, definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get more, more videos as they tend to come through. Click subscribe, click the bell, and click all. And then give this video a thumbs up, guys. Give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate that, man. And with all that said right there, guys, I'll see you guys in the next action video. Boom.